Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Quick Rubric. Over the weekend, I posted about this, and a number of people asked questions on Facebook about how to use it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's hit Create a Rubric, and we'll just fill in our rubric titles here. This will be about dog walking, and we can say evaluating our dog walking skills. And over here, you can adjust the score range. So by default, we have 100 points as a maximum score and a minimum score of 50 points. We can change it and do something like 10 points and 1 point. Or we could do 25 points and a minimum score of 10 points. And you'll notice the numbers change here for our points. Now, if we want to change the titles here from proficient emerging and beginning we can do so by just clicking on that field and we can say something like uh, exceeds expectation meets expectation and we can say approaching expectation Now over here we can change and fill in the criteria or topic uh, and say leash holding, relaxed and confident. You may say confident but not relaxed. And over here we could say not relaxed, not confident. And of course you can fill in as much information as you want all the way through there. Um, over here we might put something, one other category. Uh, you might say dogs pacing, walks next to you without pulling on leash occasionally pulls on leash and over here we might say something like pulls you like you're in the Iditarod and you can continue to add rows and add columns all the way through so if you wanted to add another column over here uh, you want to have a, a four position rubric as opposed to a three position rubric you can just simply add a column likewise if you need to add more rows click add row or if you don't need as many rows you can just click the X and delete it All right. now we can save this let's go ahead and print the rubric and so this is what it now looks like Let's go ahead and print it out. And here's our rubric. And in my case, I'm just going to save it to my Google Drive rather than actually print it. I'll save it here as a PDF. Now, if you need to copy this, and you want to make a new copy that you edit for a slightly different purpose, just hit Copy Rubric. Now you'll have a new copy in your account. Perhaps you can add a column here. Maybe you decided you needed to uh, change your point, your point schedule and you want to uh, put something over here. Um, maybe you can't find the leash. And over here, uh, can't find the dog. And now we'll save that version of it. We can see all of our rubrics by going to My Rubrics. And there's all my rubrics in my Quick Rubric account. So that's Quick Rubric, a nice easy way to create a custom rubric. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.